Hi there, today I'm unboxing a six circuit controller that can pair with a wireless kinetic energy switch and the actual six circuit controller can also be controlled via a smartphone. So let's have a quick look at the packaging. Details are in the description below if anyone thinking of purchasing. So it comes in basic packaging, nothing else on there. Let's open it up. So this is the actual six circuit receiver. That's all it comes with. So I'll give you a close up on there. So you've got the circuits that you can wire in just here and that pops off. And if I come in at an angle, so inputs, neutral and live, and these are all your switching circuits. So you'd really use this for something like uh, different lighting circuits you want to connect up. And give you a close up around the sides. Okay, you've got your Wi-Fi antenna there and an ethernet point. Okay, so that's the actual receiver. Let me show you the actual size of it. So, saying about 12 and a half by around eight and the depth at maximum, you could say just over three centimeters. So there you go, that's that. Build quality seems fine. Tough plastic on there. Okay, that's that. And then we've got a kinetic switch here, so kinetic energy switch. Let's have a look at that one. So this actually has six buttons on there. So you can program each one to interact with the circuits you've connected onto this. So that initiates a button click. So you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, on the back, you've got two areas. You can put sticky pads and you can just literally just stick it onto an area. It's probably one of those things you'd want to fit if you've got sort of hard to reach circuits, you know, you don't want to spend too much time, perhaps you're an electrician, and you don't want to run too much, and also you want to be able to control this wire smart app. Okay, build quality seems fine on that. Just to show the actual motion of this. So it just comes off a little bit off the switch. Build quality seems fine, no concerns there. And again, a couple of holes there to assist you in mounting if you wanted to via screws. Okay, so I've got a lamp here and I've taken the actual three pin plug that was on there off. So you've just got the bare cable so you can see the neutral, which is the blue and the live, which is the brown. So let's have a go at wiring in the receiver into the lamp so you can see it working. So on the actual receiver, you've got the input, which is neutral and live. And then you've got the first two connections for the switching. So. Initially, I'm going to show this set up in a temporary way. So I've got some cable here, which has a three pin plug, plug on the end, and we're going to wire that into this. And I've got some additional bits of cabling just to assist to show it as clearly as possible. So let's put this in initially. So neutral live. So when you're actually doing this, probably best to get an electrician in if you're not sure what you're doing. You want to avoid single cables sort of hanging out. So you'd really have this going into a junction box, a round junction box and all the cables going into there. But sometimes it's easier just to show things wired up like so. Okay, and I'm going to put these two in as well and tighten those up. Okay, so they're in now. Next thing is we wanna connect up the actual power onto this so we can plug it in. So I've got a connector block here. So I'm just gonna put that on over here. So what I'll do initially Let's get this wired in. So one of them goes in there, another one goes in there. OK, 
Okay, so we've got this much wired in so far. So the next would be, we wanna connect the actual brown on this side onto here. Okay, and the neutral onto the other side. Okay, so there you have it connected up now. So we've got the power coming in there, the neutrals connected up, obviously to the lighting, neutral and live going into the inputs, and then the next one makes up the circuit. So you've got the live going through, and then the neutral connecting it up. So that causes a switching. So there you go, so that's now ready to be turned on. Okay, so let's make a start at configuring the receiver. So it's all ready, just need to plug it in. But before I do, just to show the actual kinetic switch, it actually works without any batteries. And the way it works is every time you press it, it generates a small burst of energy and just stores it in there. So the lifespan of this is pretty long. And one thing I didn't mention is the actual size of this. So let me briefly show that. So eight and a half by eight and a half by just one and a half. So reasonable size to it. Okay, so let's plug it in. Okay, green light comes on. And the way you actually program it, you actually hold on. These are actually buttons here with lights on there. So if I hold on to that for three seconds, it will start flashing. And then when I press one of the kinetic buttons, it's programmed. Simple as that. Okay, so let's check that. And it's as simple as that to set up. Show it again. Very easy. So again, you could have this a fair distance away from where all your circuits are and easy way to get it working. Okay, so the next thing to show, if you've actually paired a kinetic switch on there, easy to clear as well. So if you just hold on to there for about 10 to 20 seconds, eventually you can see that's flashing, give it some time and then it will just stop flashing completely and then you know it's cleared. There you go, does nothing now. So again, I programmed the other one here and let's hold on to that one as well to clear that one. There you go, that's cleared now. So nothing's working. And to pair it, hold on to it for three seconds. Simple as that to pair. And you're not limited to just doing it with one button. You could actually pair multiple buttons. So if you had another kinetic switch, you could just pair it again. So if I hold on to three seconds, okay. So there you go. So you could have one at one side of the room and another one at the other side of the room. So it works really well and simple to set up and clear. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show is how to get this set up on your smartphone. So let's go to the Play Store and I'm gonna type in NRJ Smart. That's what you're after. So let's install that. Okay, so the app's installed. Let's click Open. And next thing you wanna do is register an account. So agree to the privacy. I'll enter my details off camera and then continue from there. Okay, so I've logged in and this is what I'm presented with. So first thing I'm gonna do is add device and we wanna click wall switch. So we wanna confirm the light is rapidly flashing and if you look on there, you can see it flashing away in red. So let's click confirm. And I'm gonna enter in my Wi-Fi password off camera next. Okay, so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password and it's saying connecting now. So let's give it a moment. Okay, and if you look in the background, the red lights stopped flashing now. So it looks like there is some connectivity being made. Okay, so there you go. I found six channel dry contact controller, and okay. you can control it by saying, Lex has gone off as well. Six channel dry contact controller. 
Okay, so the Lexus picked it up straight away. Okay, now the device is added. We can see it in action. So if I click, let's move the phone out of the way, switch one, there you go, works. And if I had other circuits there as well, turns them on, the indicator is the red light there. And obviously turn them off as well. If we look at the bottom, we've got on, all on. So if I click that, it'll all turn on. And over here, off, all off, all turn off. Then you've got a pair button to pair one of the kinetic switches if you wanted to, or a different kinetic switch. Then you've got timer. You can set a timer for all the circuits or individual ones if you wanted. Let's go into one of them. And you can set the time, you can say only once if you wanted to, or you can set a day for it to go off. And then obviously the action you want, on or off, for example. Okay, let's go back. Pretty straightforward stuff. And you can rename them to something more distinctive if you wanted. Let's click here. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working, but the basics, you get the idea of. Okay, so if I now turn off my Wi-Fi, let's give it a moment, let it jump onto 4G. So in theory, because it's cloud-based, it should just work automatically. There you go. No dramas there, works straight away. Now, the thing to note about this, if you lose internet connectivity, things like the timer, if you set those, they're not gonna work. So you have to keep that in mind. It has to be a stable internet connection for this sort of connectivity to work. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to get this set up with your Alexa, if you have one. So, as you've already heard, it's already picked it up. That's because if I go into there, give it a moment to start up. Let's go to there, skills and games. And you've got to ensure the skilled NRJ Smart is enabled. So if I go there, type in NRJ, and that's the one. So when you enable this, it'll ask you for your login details. Enter those in, and then it's linked up. Now, if I go here and click plugs, you'll see it there. So six channel dry contact control. So if I click on there, Let's turn the Wi-Fi back on. And there you go. Okay, interesting that you don't have indig individual switches. It's either all or nothing. Okay, so let's rename it and call it Garden Lights, for example. And go back. So next thing, if I unmute and say, Alexa, turn on garden lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off garden light. Okay. There you go. Simple as that, easy to configure. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to get this configured on the Google Home. So if I go to the Home app, we click over here, and click settings, assistant, and go for home control. And then if I click on the plus there, we wanna search and find smart life. And there you go, it's just there. So let me enter in my login details for energy app and continue from there. Okay, so I've entered in my login details. Let's click link now. And it will say which variation you want to link to. So I'm going to go for NJ Smart. Authorize it. Okay, so this is what I'm now presented with and it shows you each of the switches, which is really good, and the main one at the top. So if I click done, and gives you details how to go about using it. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do, we're gonna to go to switch one. We're gonna set a nickname. So let's call it Garden Light. Click okay to that, and it saved it. Let's turn off our phone. 
and say, okay, Google, turn on garden light. Sure, turning on the garden light. Okay, Google, turn off garden light. All right, turning off the garden light. There you go, as simple as that. Now, if I go back to the Google Home app, go right to the top, just to show what we have, so we can see each of the different switches. So you can see there, garden lights, if I click on that, turn it on, turn it off, and if we go back, there's a shortcut there for it. And what's quite clever about this one, obviously you've got the individual buttons, and then you've got this, six channel. So better functionality than the Alexa because you can do them all in one go and turn them all on and off in one go and you can control the individual ones as well. So very impressive, good functionality there. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this wireless six circuit receiver with kinetic switch, so that's quite cool. Works with your smartphone and also with the Alexa and Google Home. Integrates quite well. Bit disappointed with the Alexa side of things. The fact is you can either control all of them or nothing, you know, so a bit of a shame that one. So it'd be nice to control them individually. I don't really always want to turn all the lights off in one go and turn them all on in one go. So yeah, a little bit disappointed by that, but still it does work. Google Home, I was a bit more impressed with that because you had additional functionality where you could turn it all off and on and then individually control the lights as well. So good functionality there and nice usage of the kinetic switch as well. The fact that doesn't need any batteries, you can just stick it on somewhere and very simple to set up. So there you go. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.